Hello everyone and welcome. In this short video, we will review a very interesting mushroom called magic mushroom, which is a center of lot of scientific research currently. We will uncover an interesting story on how it got discovered accidentally, a Mayan ceremony, and then obviously, why is it of immense interest to scientific community right now? Let's get into the video. First, what is a mushroom? It's a fungi. Top of your mind, they belong to a very separate kingdom, separate from plants and animals. Fungi, we can have a separate video deep dive on that, but right now it's not plants or animals. Here is an interesting story of how it was discovered. The story goes that an impoverished family, the dad was picking what he thought were like small mushrooms for a stew for his family in Green Park in London. And when the family consumed the stew, the father and his four children, they experienced symptoms, symptoms like dilated pupils, spontaneous laughter, vertigo, hallucinations and so on. Obviously these symptoms were a little scary. so. The children and the dad, they had to end up with a doctor uh, who prescribed some medications. Uh, but obviously, this led the medical community to get interested in what these mushrooms were, and that is where the examinations happened. A more uh, concrete story is in 1920s, Vassan, who was a banker, uh, I believe he was working with J.P. Morgan. He suddenly got very interested in ethnomycology impact of these edible mushrooms he traveled all the way to mexico and after a long search he says long and frustrating search he finally found someone willing to initiate him in veleda which was a healing vigil performed by a by a, like a mastex ceremony he became perhaps the first westerner to intentionally ingest a hallucinogenic fungus and published his experience in seeking the magic mushroom. Obviously at that time this became sensational news. Now let's get deep into what is magic mushroom, what is its key ingredient. So what is psilocybin? Psilocybin an ingredient found in magic mushroom naturally Today it has been also created synthetically and is being used in clinical trials. Psilocybin is considered a psychedelic substance which means it may change a person's cognition, perception of time and emotions, he may end up with have, having hallucinations and so on. Now let's get into the research why a psychedelic substance is of interest to the scientific community and understand how it impacts our brain and so on. Psilocybin demonstrates great potential in treatment of cluster headaches, anxiety, anorexia, OCD and many cases of drug dependence. Now recently I saw a few articles where People who had alcohol addiction for many years and couldn't get off of it or they had a very strong smoking addiction, uh, they have come forward to share that psilocybin under clinical trials when they were, uh, ad, you know, they were under clinical trials, uh, they were able to come out of this, uh, they were able to break free of this addiction. So it becomes uh, of a lot of interest to hear their testimonies. How does psilocybin affect our brain? Essentially, it's by binding to the same receptors in the brain as serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone. Now, what happens if the serotonin is low? If the serotonin is low, it's common in persons who suffer from mental health conditions such as depression or anxiety. So, the intent is to increase the serotonin and that is where this interesting study comes in as to how psilocybin, how is that impact different from the current medication that is there. 
Serotonin has a role to play in regulation of both physiological and psychological states including sleep, positive emotions like contentment, happiness and optimism. So we have established that it is a very key enzyme for our brain. Now the majority of patients who today are low in serotonin, uh, they are, I believe, treated with something called as SSRIs, which increase the amount of serotonin in their brain. Uh, but it seems that uh, they, these SSRIs or this current medication, it may take weeks before any improvement is seen. Now here is the main, the punch slide, which is with psychedelics such as psilocybin, scientists can see changes in brain neuron connectivity in the lab because it's all very, very tightly controlled by the doctors. It's all in the experimentation stage, but they're saying within 30 minutes. So the comparison is within uh, one to three weeks where a traditional medicine may impact. Uh, this medication helps to um, starts taking effect as soon as like 30 minutes and sometimes it's said that if somebody is going through an acute depression uh, a long period of time is obviously anything that can work faster is is nothing sort of magic one of the most interesting things learned about classic second psychedelics is they have a dramatic effect on the way brain systems synchronize or move and groove together again professor at john hopkins medicine uh, david nutt director imperial college london he says that it creates a very very disorganized brain and that's a boom uh, because depressed people are continuously self-critical and they keep ruminating going over and over the same negative thoughts and uh, psilocybin breaks that habit or rewires the brain Now, there's another term which is treatment resistant depression. Sometimes the people who are in depression, uh, there's this term which is they're resistant to the treatment. And uh, today it's said that the figures are astonishing to say like millions of people are suffering from this by the depression or anxiety or other diseases. So the key call out here is that uh, a breakthrough therapy designation for psilocybin highlights the importance of supporting early research that can be translated to clinically meaningful outcomes and helping millions of people. Now, uh, let's. Um, there was a clinical trial which is claimed to be the largest clinical trial involving perhaps like 22 countries uh, to arrive at the correct dosage of psilocybin, uh, which has the maximum benefit uh, for uh, people. This randomized double blind clinical trial, which authors called the largest of its kind, compared results of three doses amount, which is 25 milligram, 10 milligram, and one milligram of synthetic psilocybin on the people who were participating in the trial. Uh, this is an interesting call out that 77% of the people who were in the trial experienced headache, nausea, exhaustion, and dizziness after uh, some doses and common reaction. Uh, here is a study uh, that was published, the results were published in New England Journal of Medicine and it said that uh, psilocybin um, found an immediate fast rapid acting sustained response to 25 milligrams of synthetic psilocybin.
Now, here is the key thing. The comparison here is that this impact is so fast and this contrasts with standard antidepressants, which, which takes several weeks to reach maximum effect. And, and sometimes the time is of essence when a person is going through uh, some severe conditions, some severe mental conditions. As a conclusion, uh, one important call out is the experts say that the, the trial and all this research is really encouraging, but then obviously there's a lot of unanswered questions, a very controlled study that has to be done before so that there's no bad impact to the population. As we move to the last part, uh, the most popular species of psilocybin mushroom is psilocybin cubensis, which is usually taken orally or either dried or taken as tea. How is it different? Uh, all these mushrooms may look the same. Uh, there are some poisonous ones which are like red or something and they stand out. Uh, but very important call out that psilocybin is considered active at a doses around just three to four milligrams. So even a very small bit uh, can cause all these hallucinations and uh, all these effects that are there, the psychedelic effect, effects that are there. Uh, here is a slide from the Drug Enforcerate website which says psilocybin uh, and uh, Psilocin are listed in Schedule 1 of Controlled Substances Act, make it, it, making it illegal to cultivate or possess psilocybin producing mushrooms for either personal consumption or distribution. It's only allowed for scientific research. So we need to be careful about this. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share your comments so that I can bring some of these interesting videos my intent is always to provide information so that you can do your own research. Thank you.